is the video you're about to watch. I'll leave Hyden at Wave Rock, go over to Cullen, back up to Meriden, where I spent the night out of town in a deserted park, go over to Southern Cross and go up to Bullfinch, where I camp at a deserted town that's got a caravan park next to an old school. Not a bad spot at all for 10 bucks. It was pretty good. Hope you enjoy this one. Well, good morning everyone. This is the campsite at Wave Rock, just leaving. Wave Rock's over yonder. As I said yesterday, walking distance, which is pretty damn good. But what I noticed is, I'll just go up here, because I reckon this is crazy. You can drive in here, and it's an honesty thing. You've got to pay over there, $12. But there's toilets and stuff down there, and you can camp down there. No one would know. There's a camera down there, but... <laughs> whether or not it works or not. Oh, starting to sprinkle. So we're just going to look at a thing called Lake Magic. See how magical it is. But this place was absolutely worth coming and seeing and doing. This place is just so good. Coming into the resort, I'm glad I drove over it. Getting them cut out by CMC machine or water cutter, it would cost bloody thousands, literally. Big place this is. Did not know this was out here. Oh wow, look at that. Now that is unique. That is different. Oh, that is insane. Ah, that's so good. Big lake there. That is monstrous. So the turn off to this is it's not hidden but it doesn't say Lake Magic, it just says um, Wave Rock Resort and you're right out to the resort and that's where the uh, Lake Magic is. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's Wave Rock way over there. A pretty special place. I, I could come here and stay and, and just walk around and it's, it's quite nice, this, quite nice. If you're a photographer, this would be bloody photographer's heaven or push bike rider, there's so much to do here. This is the start of the tractors and artwork on the side of the road riding into Cullen. That is really, really good, that. Awesome farm.
skirts. Look at this one here. Just really well done, isn't it? That's cool. It's about 10 k's of, of that sort of stuff. At least 10 k's. Oh, they've got a water slide. That's, geez, that's nearly exactly the same as the one in Ballina. Very nice place. stop but I the big breakfast filled me up so that's Cullen everyone that's a pretty nice spot pretty nice spot information center so that one there's not doing too much oh good to stop nice so we'll continue and go and find the other one there's another one courage in I've got High hopes for this place. I think this place is going to be a pearl. I reckon it's going to be a little bungle of joy. Just got a feeling. Dog in the um, ute is up here somewhere. And GPS is telling me. Oh, it's on the main drag. It's on the main drag. Big dog, big dog. Dog in the world record. Oh, let's stop and have a look. Don't know what that's about. Don't know what that's about. 1,527 dogs and utes in a queue. There you go. Did not know that. World record. That is reasonably cool. Actually, no, that's very friggin' cool. This is courage. Now we're talking, we've got an old building. And that looks like an old pub, it's not anymore. Oh, it's got a bottle marked. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Main Street down there, we're going back down there for a squeeze. Squeeze. Old and green, looking very nice. Elders, looks closed. NAB. Post office, it's all happening here. Only twenty nine. It's a good old building, that one, isn't it? That's a bloody ripper. main drag of Bruce Rock. I don't know what that thing there was. Oh, Shire Office. Look at that old one. That's a friggin' rip snorter. We're putting some work into that park there. Oh, and here's the main drag. Here it is. We've got a pharmacy. We've got everything going on. Deli, meats, craft shop. There's a pub. Yeah, I'll get a photo in front of that one, definitely. Motel Mills and, oh, they've got flags, but is it closed? Oh no, it's, oh, sorry, closed today. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. By the trendsetters, this is the main street, this is the main street. Of Meriden. This is a town I think that they're going to be trying really hard to please. Well, she's a bustling little bloody main street. I tell you, there's a few people about. 
Guy Mad Discount Store. Wonder if they got a bottle mart here. I bet they have. I just got a feeling. Video store, it's not doing too bloody much. <clears throat> there is cars everywhere. Men's shed down there. That's a shoot off street. VWS, or oh, you bloody. That's the opposition bottle mart. Just thinking how upset I was that there wasn't a uh, bottle mart in this little town, and guess what? Yep. That's what I'm talking about. So, I really thought there was silo art here, um, and it's not. I sort of failed again. That's twice. Man. Let me just check. Yeah, this is what they are. It's street art. I've got to learn to free and read probably. But yeah, that's a bit of a fail, isn't it? Oh, it's still nice, but I was expecting big silos. But that's quite nice. They've done them with tiles, actually. A fair bit of work in that. It's nice. Alrighty, so I've just stopped at Meriden. Went to IGA, got some food, got a couple of bits of steak, got a broccoli, some onion. Some strepsils, I've been singing too loud and I've got a sore throat. And uh, just going to cook it up and then go to my special little campsite. And uh, yeah, hopefully no one will come down and see me there. And I'll show you all that later. morning humans so last night I camped under here it was pretty bloody good no one come and bothered me I didn't have anyone in the park over there I thought I might have had bloody lovers come in the park there and hide out but not nobody not a bad spot at all free that's a bonus bonus got the winter gloves on today it's that cold good morning everyone so this is called the rabbit proof fence. There's three fences in Australia. North, south, south, west, west, east, bloody whatever. Um, so there's three. A total of 3,200 kilometers. And not sure where it is. I can't be it there, surely. If it is, it's not much left of it. Um, built back in 1901 to 1907 a cost of $250 a kilometre which is equivalent to about eight and a half thousand dollars now a kilometre and one span of its 1800 kilometres which is the longest single span fence in the world oh there you go <laughs> The longest fence in the world commenced here in 1901, a length of 1837, completed in 1903 at Esperance on the south coast 907 at Port Headland on the north coast. Of these guys here have put a bit of bit of time and effort into uh, their town sign. I love it. I really love it. Right, this is on the way to a mine, Edna May Mine. It's a old gold mine, and you've got to go through this little town first. I think it's called Westonia or some something like that. And I've got big big hopes for this, I've got big hopes. Wow. Don't know what that is in there, but it's a big concern, big concern. Look at the people in there. 
Maybe the mine still works. Well, this is one of the tidiest towns I've been in. Western Australia Bank, I've never seen that sign. Look at all the nice signage. Jeez, it's been looked after, hasn't it? But no old pubs. General store, post office, and that's just about it. Holden Pipeline Heritage Trail. I'm not sure what that's about, but we are going to find out. I'm pretty sure it's something to do with the water being pumped from Perth to Kalgoorlie in them big pipes on the side of the road, I'm, I'm assuming. Hello dirt, my old friend, haven't had dirt for sugar. Oh, five, six weeks or something. Well, that is a long frigging way down. That's really awesome. Wow, look at the different colours in the stone and the layers what well, a shame we're not a bit closer to the edge your hats because I know this place is gonna bloody blow you away I've got a feeling bang straight away nice big pub like it like a lot good signage love it love it love it love it oh, town center up there oh free Wi-Fi I told you this place was gonna be good oh right I'll continue I don't know what's down there but we'll go down there in a minute coffee shop up there I told you. First time in a long time I've been right. Coffee, another coffee shop. Home hardware. Another old pub there closed down. Another old pub there closed down. Food works. Yeah, this place is bloody awesome. This, this is a good place. This. Risking my life again for a good photo for YouTubers. Here we go. Ooh. Yep, that's nice just there. It hasn't got a date on it, but it's bloody old. Look at all the raw to iron around the top. That's beautiful. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bullfinch. I don't think there's much going on here, but I just thought I'd ride out. It was on the to-do list. And that's where we're going up there. After I've done a blockier town. Or whatever you want to call this. Village. Old store there many, many, many years ago. A post office. Still is. Another store there, it doesn't work anymore. And that's about it. And that would have been the pub. Bet your freaking life on it. Yep, if it's Bullfinch Hotel. I don't know, and that is Bullfinch, everyone. Well, I'm at Bullfinch. This is the old school down there. They don't use it for um, week to week campers but when they have big events out here or the big morning tea they'll use that there's a little shed down there she said I could sleep in it tonight so I'm going down there 
and and the toilets and showers are here so there's spots here for everybody ten dollars a night and um, it's just fantastic there's absolutely nothing in Bullfinch no food no petrol no nothing but doesn't matter uh, what's the time it's only 12 o'clock so nice easy day all the money they make from the campsites they put back into the buildings I only camping in here because there's power there's there's power yep I'm gonna fit and the lights are in here and it's not too bad not too bad at all so hi guys this is my campsite audio on my GoPro is not working unless it's on my helmet so I'm walking around with my helmet on just to do this video but anyway so this is where I'm camping tonight in here not a bad little spot got my own little bloody coat hanger there and camped over there and got lights in here power over there couldn't ask for it better <laughs> 